Hola, and welcome to Parky's Casa. <laughs> Please, come on in. <laughs> Uh, it was kind of a last minute decision. Yeah, I was talking to Mark later in my season, my 20 year old season. The idea of moving to the city was very appealing to me. Uh, and it was a good school, obviously, academic wise. They seemed transparent, genuine, uh, all things that I naturally gravitate towards. It was exciting, change is exciting. These are my shoes, I kind of, my dad, my dad makes fun of me. I love shoes, I have a shoe obsession. Um, and it's bad, but you know, I can't really do much about it. Dude, I, you know, I'm just trying to be real. I'm trying to be open and transparent for the people of the world. So, currently in the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, pursuing a degree in psychology. Very interested by the human mind, sort of like what influences people, why they're motivated to do certain things, feel certain ways. Uh, and also, I'm learning a lot about myself which is cool. That's what it's all about, kids, you know? Having fun. <laughs> he's a real cool dude. You know, even when you just see him floating around the rink before he gets on the ice, he's just got a, he's got a good demeanor about him. And the main thing is, he's just got a great sense about him when, he, when he's on the ice. His stick is real good. He's in good positions. He's got that tall, lanky body type about him, and he skates really well. So, you know, at the end of the year, he was putting pucks in the net and getting point production. And to me, that's again along with a bunch of the first year guys started chipping in offensively and that's what you want. No, you win some, you lose some, man. The thing about life is you go through highs and you go through lows. And you can't appreciate the highs and left without the lows. You know, he found himself in good areas on the ice. He goes to those dirty areas too and he's physical. And, and when you can skate at a level he can, I think he's, he's very untapped. I think there's a lot more that he has to give. I think if he puts on a little weight during the off season, um, he'll be bigger and stronger. And I think, you know, maybe junior hockey was just the stepping stone to that next level. And he's really, he's really showed that he could be a top end player. Jason, I mic up today, careful. Are you? Yeah. I know, we love Jason. I'm just making fun skis. You know, I, I think he could be a leader on the team. I think he could chip in offensively again and be a top six guy for us. His penalty killing is second to none. Him and Bud, they knew exactly where to go and working with Jim, uh, assistant coach Jim, on the penalty kill, you know, they, they were just dominant out there. And I think, you know, it showed even in those those games against Alaska or UBC that you had two freshmen killing penalties was is definitely impressive. <laughs> Love the boys. Love the boys. In terms of all my years playing hockey, uh, there's certain groups that, that stand out. And even though I'm in it now, I know that this is going to be a group that stands out when I sort of reflect on the past. Everyone's been great. They made the transition so easy, um, so friendly, so funny. They've been unbelievable. Truly have made my uh, first year at SFU great experience. What's your, what would you say is your favorite family channel show of Phineas and Ferb. Oh, what is that? What is it? There's 104 days of summer vacation. Uh, okay, fine. If you had to know she's on, because that's just a good one. Not an animated um, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not an animated one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 that's all Raven. Okay. Oh, that's all Raven. Oh, that's all Raven. That's all Raven. It's the future I can see. Look at that. Look at that chat. First one on the ice, last one off. Why? We're trying to get better. We care. So we show effort. Hey, Jesse. It feels like a party every day. 